Aldadash. So, there is no way you will support Tinubu and your brain will still be intact. It's not possible. There is nobody with common sense who has a common sense, and the common sense is working. That would be a supporter of Tinubu. There is no basis for it. No basis for anybody to support Tinubu. No basis. No basis at all for any right thinking human being to support him. Let me give you a good example. This is a man that on his birthday in 2021, on Tinubu's birthday, his birthday was edited 20, 84 times. Let me say it again. You know, on Wikipedia, on Wikipedia, Tinubu's Wikipedia page was edited 84 times. In fact, Wikipedia has to cancel his page because of vandalism. Wikipedia have to cancel Tinubu's page because of what they call vandalism. So, technically, impliedly, what it means is that Tinubu has 84 different birthdays. 84. Quote me. 84 different birthdays. Because he was adjusting his birthday. 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 He was to suit his the purpose. So on his birthday in 2021, his Wikipedia page was edited 84 times. This is a man that in 1993 he was 52 years old. So calculate it. In 1993, Tinubu was 52 years old. So I, I'm not good in mathematics. Calculate it now. This is a man that the, the birthday on uh, um, Tinubu Wikipedia page is different from my daughter's Wikipedia page. Tinubu's birthday. On Wikipedia, that was put up by our daughter, the Yaloja. Is different. Yaloja said Tinubu was born in 1947. No, Tinubu's daughter claimed that her father was born in 1942. Tinubu's daughter, on her Wikipedia, Wikipedia page, she wrote it there by herself that her father was born in 1942. But in Tinubu's own Wikipedia page. Tinubu's date of birth was put 1952. Ten years has been clearly removed. Ten years has been clearly removed from Tinubu's birthday. So, can you know Tinubu more than her daughter? The daughter of Tinubu claimed that her father was born in 1942. The father herself, himself, is claiming that he was born in 1952. Can't you see conflicting statements? So, you see, you Tinubu supporters, I will never support Tinubu, and I will tell you the reason. Number one, for me to support Tinubu, you have to convince me beyond reasonable doubt. Why I have to support Tinubu? You have to convince me. You have to convince me that in the whole of Yoruba land, Tinubu is the best candidate for the post of the president. That's number two. Number three, you have to convince me and show me evidences that Tinubu was a student of Gome College Ibadan. Number one, was a student of St. John's Primary Carolina, was a student of Chicago State University, and that Tinubu rename was was and is Tinubu because he has plethora of names he has plethora of names to, to the best of my knowledge Tinubu has five different names to the best of my knowledge he has five different names and I, I will give you the names in the following order Bola Ahmed Tinubu number one Bola Ahmed Tinubu number one number two Bola Adekunle Tinubu number two Bola Adekunle Tinubu. Number three, Yekini Ogunlere. Number three, Yekini Ogunlere. Number four, Amoda Shongodile. Number four, Amoda Shongodile. Number five, Lamidi Omoboriwo. 
Number five, Lamidia So who's what's 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 the real name of Tinubu? What's the real name of Tinubu? So we I, I have to know the, his real name. I have to know his age, his real age, and I have to know whether he was a student of government college or not. Then I can support Tinubu. If you can fulfill all those conditions, then I will support Tinubu. But for somebody to come to my inbox and think when you abuse me, that one will make me to support Tinubu, you are wasting your time. Let me say this for you free of charge. If Tinubu give me money, let me say it free of charge. He has proposed, he, he, he has sent somebody to give me money and I refuse. But should Tinubu even give me money, I won't stop. I will still be attacking him. I'm not asking for money, so don't think I'm asking for money or I'm doing this because Tinubu will give me money. No, they have even sent people to me to give me money, and I said no. But what I'm able to say, whatever situation I find myself, I will still continue to criticize Tinubu. Okay, and I will tell you the reasons in Yoruba land, we are not criminals. We Yoruba, we have a good pedigree, we are not known as criminal in Yoruba land. We are termed as Omoluabi, and we will not allow Tinubu to change the narrative. We won't allow Tinubu to singularly change the narrative. We are Omoluabi in Yoruba land. We are well read, we are cosmopolitan, we are intelligent, we are polished. We will not allow Tinubu to change that narrative. No, if you have collected money from Tinubu and you think you can rewrite history, we will not, we will not allow it. We won't allow Tinubu. To rewrite our culture in Yoruba land. We won't allow Tinubu to rewrite history. So, if a Tinubu supporters go and tell Tinubu himself, if you, if you have common sense, why don't you ask Tinubu himself, why did he have five names? Why did he have five names? Why was his bad day controversial? Why is it that everything about him is controversial? Why did he have why did he have Two social security numbers when he was in the United States of America. Why did he have two social security numbers? Why did he have over 12 bank accounts when, with multiple names when he was in the university and when he was in Chicago? Why did he forfeited $460,000 to the United States government? Why? Why was he arrested in Gary, Indiana? Was he arrested for a drug case or was he arrested for another thing? Let him tell us. Why was he arrested in Chicago? Was he arrested in Chicago for drug case or was he arrested for another offense? Let him tell us. Why did Tinubu fled from America to Canada? Why did he not take a plane? Why did he left fled by road and left and cross over to Canada by, by leg? So Tinubu, you, are, you don't know anything. You think you can manipulate everybody. You can't manipulate me. With your billions, you cannot manipulate me. Okay? With your billions, I'm going to make sure that I useless that your billions. So you can't manipulate me. You can manipulate people like Fashola. They are your house boys. You can manipulate lawyers like Fashola, uh, Festus Kiyamu. Those ones are your house boy. Family Fanica or the Joey Bukwe. You can manipulate all those. Ones. Baba to the Ogala, you can manipulate. You can't manipulate me. Tinubu. And you can't use money to bribe me. I have my own money. By special grace of God, I have my own money that I work for. So I won't, I'm not depending on anybody to survive. I don't depend on anybody. My survivor depends on God Almighty. So I have my own money. And I'm self-sufficient in my own little way. So Tinubu, you cannot use money to bribe me. I was born into wealth. Let me say it again. I was born into a wealth. My grandfather was a king. So I was not born like a commoner. I was born into, a, into wealth. So, and if you think that I'm telling lies, I will post the picture of my late dad. And I challenge Tinubu to, to come and post the picture of his own dad. So you Tinubu supporters, you are so foolish. The more you abuse me, the more I will do more investigation about Tinubu, and the more a lot of facts will come up. How many of you know that Tinubu is a citizen of Antigua? How many of you who are watching me knows that Tinubu is a citizen of Antigua? 
in the Caribbean island. How many of you know that Tinubu has Mexican passport? How many of you? How many of you know that Tinubu park his private jet permanently in Guinea-Bissau? So, Tinubu, the more your supporters advise, uh, attack me, the more I will reveal your secret to the public. You see, you better call your uh, scallywags who call themselves supporters. You better call them to order. You better call them to order. Tini ba koini. You come at them. To my able brothers, permit me. I, I, I just have to say this proverb in your language. Tini ba koini. You come at them. So, Tini will be better advise all those your illiterates who call themselves your supporters that they, they should not bite more than they can chew. They should not bite more than they can chew. They should look at my face very well. I'm not uh, Oshiba Joe. Because I know that you know how to use propaganda. You are the same set of people who said Oshiba oh, Judas, Judas Iscariot. I'm not, oh, I'm not Oshiba Joe. I'm not Badi Bo Rose Vivo, that you, you, you came up with a theory and said Badi Bo Rose Vivo is not a Yoruba man. So you cannot do that one to me. The game you play with Oshiba Joe, the game you play with Badi Bo Rose Vivo, you can't play it with me. I swear to God Almighty, you can't. You can't. I, in fact, I will be the one that will. So I will flip it upside down. So, Tinobu, you cannot play the game that you play with Rose Bible, 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 Rose Bible, or Shiba, you can't play with me. I swear to Almighty God. You will get your fingers burnt beyond recognition. <laughs> you will get your fingers burnt beyond recognition. So, don't play your silly games with me. Tinubu, don't play all those your silly games. Tell your, tell your dogs, your attack dogs, they should use common sense when dealing with me. They should use. I'm not a gentleman, no. <laughs> so let me tell you now, I'm not a gentleman. I've never come to Facebook and introduced myself as a gentleman. Have you seen me on Facebook and say my, my name is already called a, a gentleman? I'm not, and I don't want anybody to call me a gentleman. So don't call me a gentleman. So, yes, don't call me a gentleman. Because I've seen now that the concept of being a gentleman is to be stupid. So I'm not a gentleman. Please, don't, nobody should call me a gentleman. So that uh, you think uh, this guy is a gentleman. No, I'm not. So if you think I'm a gentleman, come and try me for Try me for real. So, Tinobu, you have so many legal orders to cross. So many, so many legal orders to cross. This program, we are going to have part two of this program. We are going to have this program. Yesterday, you know, we have we have one program yesterday. We have not finished it. So we are going to have part two of this and part two of yesterday's program. So please, let me write it down. We are going to have part two of yesterday's program. And we are going to have part two of this program. Let's go to 1999 Constitution. Let's go to, let's go to session 134. Section 134, Section 134, Section 134 of 1999 Constitution. I know that Tinubu Sabana, they don't want to hear this one, but we have to say it. And we have to discuss it. Section 134 of the Constitution. You see? You can see. Section 134 of the Constitution. You can see? Section 134. With your permission, I read. Section 134, Subsection 1. A candidate for an election to the office of president shall be deemed to have been duly elected, where there have been only two candidates for the election. Paragraph A, he has the majority of votes cast at the election. And he has, he has paragraph B, he has not less than one quarter of the votes cast at the election. In each of at least two thirds of all the states in the federation and the federal capital territory. So let me tell this for free. <laughs> I'm not a gentleman. No? <laughs> he said, so gentleman is no, I'm not a gentleman. <laughs> so let me tell you for free. Section 134, paragraph, um, section 134, subsection 1, paragraphs A and B. The combined effect of section 134, 
subsection 1, paragraph A and B is that for you to be duly declared as elected president of Nigeria, you must have 25% of the vote.